Air is everywhere and it flows around us in style. This moving air has lots of energy. This energy can be harnessed to make air turbine rotate, airplanes fly, hot air balloon go up and lot many more applications. Let's learn more about this moving air, what we call aerodynamics. Hey, the ball is not even moving an inch. Let's conduct some experiments and learn about aerodynamics. Organize these materials to have awesome time with aerodynamics. A4 sheet paper, one strip of paper, earbud, straw, one cylindrical bottle like this. And of course, some tools. Experiment number one. Take this strip of paper and try to make it hover, either blowing from the bottom or on the top. Let's try both. First one. It's so obvious when I blow from the bottom, it will rise. What will happen if I blow on the top? Let's see. Whoo! Isn't it magical? There is a lift already when I'm blowing on the top. How is it even possible? As I was explaining, when I blow, air loves surface. It tries to go around the paper and when I blow it, it gets that lift. That's because of Bernoulli's principle. When the air goes very fast around the paper, there is a pressure drop because fast moving molecules are unable to exert the pressure down. We living in this beautiful ocean of air, amazing amount of pressure in the bottom that gives it a lift. Cool? Try it one more time. Experiment number two, it's called the heaviest sumo. You need A6 size sheet paper where you need to fold 4 cm on either side like this. Now fold it back exactly at half of it. I'm all ready to wrestle with our sumo. When I try to blow the air here, see what happens. Sumo is not moving. Why? Because when I try to blow the air here, it creates the low pressure area. And the pressure at the top will suppress it down. Experiment number three. Let's build an atomizer. To build one, you require a small bottle with a small hole on the top. Straw and an earbud. Let's remove this cotton swab on the earbud to make it look like a pipe like this. In the second step, take scissors and make a tiny hole in the straw. So to fix this pipe of the earbud into it. In the step 3, put this pipe through that hole in the bottle. Your atomizer is ready. It's the Bernoulli's principle again. When I blew the air very fast through the pipe, it created partial suction on the top and that sucked the water and spread it all over. Isn't it cool? Bernoulli's principle is used in many places. It's the same principle which will make aeroplanes fly and our gas stove work. Learn more science with science with so. Science is cool. Science is awesome. <laughs>